Thank you so much for clicking if you are new hi my name is lillian and thank you so much for tuning in again to see another video and if you are new do wait to hit the subscription button turn on the bell so that anytime i upload a video youtube will notify you so we are going back to the ashanti region to take a look at this amazing school popular and this school has produced prominent Ghanaians and even produced white guys and i have evidence and i'll show you in this video so don't argue with me i want to apologize for the delay to bring this video I actually didn't know much about owas until so i've been seeing so many comments and these comments won't stop the guys are patient but they will continue to mount pressure on you until you take a look at their school anyways so today we are going back to the ashanti region to take a look at this amazing school and let's go take a look at these guys and i will be back let's go let's get ready to rumble Opokuware School, often referred to as OAS, is an all-boys high school in Santasi, a suburb of Kimasi, which is the capital of the Ashanti region of Ghana. It was established in 1952, as one of the five Catholic schools in Ghana that year. The school was named after Asante King Opokuware I. Poco are win next year's Pride Ball because we've been it for so long and this is our time and we know it. I completed the Poco I completed here in 1977. Blaster coach because CRPI is from here. He was my junior in the school. Then there are so many others. Poco High School started taking part in basketball as far back 2009 and that was the first time we took part in strike championship. Bukwari is a very good school. I mean my son picked it. Uh, first of all we advised him to pick it and he also picked it because of basketball, uh, the strength of the basketball team there. We beat Prep the College in the basketball strike finals. That was a massive achievement because Opokua and Prep the College, any sporting activity between the two schools is like competing in the World Cup. <laughs>
um i'm seeing videos by nigerians saying that i'm deceiving you guys i'm massaging your ego that i'm just trying to make you feel good this is not something i'm sitting down to talk about this is something i'm showing you guys so i don't know if i'm lying sometimes i'm wondering are my people blind the same people that are accusing me of faking my love for you are the same people that are copying everything i do i have two types of nigerian that are copying me the ones that now feel the need to show off the schools in nigeria all of a sudden the ones that are campaigning against these videos telling you guys to stop paying attention to me and then i have another class of nigerian the ones that are copying everything i'm doing the same type of videos the way i do them i have this type of people i'm dealing with so the ones that are campaigning that you guys should stop watching my videos that i'm lying to you i do not love you i'm deceiving you at this point is official nobody can save nigeria because with all of these people acting like this People are making excuses for their governments for not providing them with the basics. The only person that would have saved Nigeria is me and I am not doing because come on now. Now me spoiled the country at this point because I can see the campaign against everything I do. They said I'm a village girl but they copy everything I do. But that is okay. I just want to throw lights on this okay because these videos keep coming and people keep sending these videos to me to see what they are saying but regardless I don't know i think the campaign is against who i don't know but regardless i will continue to show not talk i don't just talk i'll show and because i like to show and not just talk let's go take a look at the ex-boys of this school uh these guys have imparted their community immensely let's go take a look and i'll be back let's go good afternoon my name is Zayn Aman, old student of uh, Book School, bn 525 and the pilot with africa World airlines Project coordinator Kateche George Tapad described as an honor the opportunity to give back to their alma mater, especially renovating a facility that was built in honor of a phenomenal figure of the school. So this has been a project which is on our heart. And uh, as I said, we spent over 500,000 cities on that. As pensioners, we had to dig deep into our pockets to be able to come out with that money. This building is of very serious significance to all of us for the simple reason that when we entered the school 50 years ago, it was the dining hall. So that used to be our dining hall. The hall has installed fans, a public address system, projector, washrooms, and 300 customized chairs for convenient mass gathering. The 1996-97 year group, led by a deputy finance minister, John Ampontio Kuma, have intervened to address the situation. Today, we are presenting to them a biodigester, a uh, 35 seater and then 10 washrooms uh, bath bathrooms uh, for the students as an addition to their infrastructure uh, facilities on the campus i will
will never sit down and lie because I'm looking for food to eat. So there is no how I will sit down and lie to the world. If there's nothing in Ghana to celebrate, I will not do it. Certainly, I will never have told you guys. And of course, I won't tell you guys there's nothing. If there's nothing, I will keep quiet because I know best to not cross boundaries. That is what I was taught. Unfortunately, some of my country people were not raised where their mothers were busy chasing men, husband, husband, they forgot to take care of the kids and the government do not care. So most of these people acquiring education for pride is different from actual education, which I'm seeing in Ghana and I'm shocked. You see these shocking videos? By the time I bring all, all the schools I've seen online in Ghana, everybody will be shocked. Now I'm getting to understand the actual meaning of education. I mean education beyond certificates. You give them this to do, they can't do it. You give them that thing they said they studied in school to do, they can't because they didn't study it, they bought it. And that has become their headly possession. And I have tried my part. I thought by the time I do these videos, they seize it, they will be angry and demand for basics. I didn't know that they are not ready. A people that are making up excuses for their government, for not giving them the basics, something as necessary as education, something as basic as healthcare service. So at this point, I give up. But I'm glad that Nigerians are watching my videos. All right. I hope that you guys continue. Please, when you watch, do not forget to like and and of course for those who are campaigning against my videos out of jealousy you have to apply pressure because Ghanaians are actually educated they didn't buy certificate so Ghanaians are intelligent not like us that are smart you know smart people think that they have sense but intelligent people knows that they have sense and they can judge they can tell what is real and fake so i leave that for you guys to judge anyways let's go back to the school and take a look at this school that has produced world renounce let's go back to the school and do random tour as always and i will be back let's go boys to another final I don't care about Nigerians anymore or about Nigeria. I do. But I'm worried for Nigeria because now how we Nigeria move forward? <laughs> because I when you when you do videos like this, they are supposed to be mad at the government and say, okay, enough is enough. You can go back to your government and tell them what you are seeing in a country you regard as ordinary. Tell them, okay, since these people has like this, we want to. But mba. People are making up excuses for bad leadership and all that. So 
I, I will continue to celebrate what I'm seeing here. Let me tell you guys a story, quick one. Let's go back to the school. When we come back, I have a story to tell you guys that a lot of people will learn from. Let's go. Dapple on rotational basis. Many entire house competitions occur, mostly in the field of sport. For much of the school's history, first year boys have to act as servants. To older boys, their duties mostly includes cleaning and running errands. Notable alumni, Professor Kwamana Ahoy, former NDC Minister of State, Akwa Siapaya the former head coach of the Ghana Black Stars, Justice Stephen Allen Broby, retired jurist former Chief Justice of the Gambia and Justice of the Supreme Court of Ghana Dr. Jacob Kwakimafo, physician, surgeon and CEO of West End Clinic, Kimasi Dr. Anthony Akoto Ozai, former finance minister and current MP for Old Tafo Jacob Ozai Oboa, Politician Awards, Opokuware School won Global Innovative Award at the World Robotics Championship held in Michigan. The event held in Detroit, Michigan was on May 17th and 18th, 2018 and the school is the only Ghanaian school to represent. The elite Kimasi-based senior high school beat high schools from all over the world including Pakistan, India, China, Europe and the United States. Now, the story I wanted to say is that I used to know a family back home in Nigeria. The man was doing well. He used to be a businessman importing goods from China to Nigeria. They are blessed with a number of kids and because they are doing well financially. And because they are doing well financially, their kids were enrolled in a good school. I mean, like, mm, good school. And that school is good, but not very not that much expensive i think at, at that time they were paying about 150,000 naira per child and the school is good you know they provide good you know needs for the students so a lot of parents that do not have much also wanted their kids in the school so do you know what this family did the wife of this man that is an exporter and importer from china i mean who imports the wife of the man who i said import goods from china to Nigeria yeah the wife called a meeting and asked other parents to mount pressure on the school so that they can increase school fees so that the children of a regular Nigerian I mean that Nigerian that is putting in all her monies to make sure that her child or children acquire at least basic education i mean the right way since the government is not providing that so do you know what she did she was able to, to call on mothers that are like minds you know they went to the school and mounted pressure on the school to increase school fees because they want to frustrate the children of the not so rich nigerians out of that school they want their kids to make connection with children from rich homes all right and she did this her husband was talking about it with pride guys three months later i got a message from someone that knows me and the family that the man has passed away and he left her with four children and before before the man's demise she was a housewife she wasn't working he was the only provider of the family just that he was doing very well so the money was there now that he is no longer alive she realized that her husband has been you know her husband actually collected a loan from a bank because he has someone that could connect him to get the loan so now their only property in lagos has to go to the bank so that they can repay the loan so madam and her children i heard that she relocated from lagos to the part of nigeria she and her husband are from because the man has properties in their village so they have to move to the village don't play you see this life that is the country i come from where people sabotage others so i will understand why people are attacking my videos they want that you know ah uh, why will you do free school so that my country is just there like animal kingdom anyways i mean not my country some people from my country are like animals they don't have sense when i do these videos they are inspiring me i, I thought i was going to be able to make nigerians demand for their needs but they won't but i won't stop doing these videos i'll continue for they're accusing me of doing it for money and all that some of these videos i'm not earning a dime and if you doubt me i can show you some of the videos are copyrighted content so i can't earn monies from them but i won't stop doing 
doing them because I love what I'm seeing. I am all out for humanity. I do make money from some of the videos, okay, but not all. And there's no guarantee that this one I'm filming now make money because I'm not going to schools to film these videos. If I do that, we are not going to cover like 10 schools before the year ends. It's expensive to move around. So when people tell me to stop using their content, I understand. All right, so you guys give me time. I'm in the studio again trying to redo all that I have done before. The owners of this video, some of them said I should stop using their content. So of course I understand. So I have to go back and start all over again so give me time but your school is coming all you have to do is hit the subscription button ensure you on the best so that anytime i upload a video you will get notified thank you guys for watching this one i will see you in my next one bye